Hey now, I'm Dorian, joined by my wife and celebrity menswear stylist, Ashley Weston. Hello. You know, you gotta say hey now. Hey now. We're watching the, the, <laughs> the uh, Larry Sanders show right now, and it is so freaking hilarious when Hank does his hey now. I did not realize it. That's who, who says it on Howard? Oh, Howard says Everyone it. Everyone says Stern, it on yeah. Howard Stern show. Yeah. They stole it from there. Hey now. Anyways, fellas, we got a great summer question for you. Let's get into it. So Ashley, Sebastian had a wonderful question. He said, how should my swim trunks fit this summer? So I have two minutes on the clock. When you're ready, let me know. I am ready. And go. Okay, so let's start with length. So it doesn't matter what your height is, um, you always wanna make sure your swim trunks are three inches minimum above the knee. What's the maximum? So the maximum is going to depend on your height. Okay. So if you are a taller gentleman, I would say you actually kind of want to keep it around the three inch mark above your knee, but you can go all the way up to mid thigh. But the thing is though, is you already, you're tall, you have very long legs. So we want to make sure your swim trunks are kind of kept proportionally with the rest of your body. So you want to show off a little less leg. So that's why I always recommend around three to four inches. Show off. <laughs> Um, but if you're a shorter gentleman, then you obviously want to show off more leg because it actually visually will make you look taller. So perhaps then you just want the length a little shorter because it'll make your legs look a little longer if you're a yes. shorter gentleman or you're on the shorter side. But if yes. you're average height, then? Then actually you still go with the my recommendation that I just um, told you guys about for taller men. So go about between three inches above your knee up to mid thigh. Um, now, the, the reason why I have kind of these guidelines with how short your swim trunks should be is because just with the, any article of clothing, you always want to make sure it's proportional to the rest of your body. You don't want to look, if, if you're tall like me and I've got like shorter swim trunks on, I just look like, like a giraffe. Like, <laughs> like daddy like long legs. legs. Like, yeah, like a daddy <laughs> like long legs. Yeah. But if you're shorter and you've got longer swim trunks, it actually makes your legs look really short. So obviously you don't want that. Now, Ash, about the fit on the sides, like yeah. how baggy, oh, there we go. Now about the fit on the sides, how baggy do you really want it? Um, not baggy <laughs> at all. Okay. So um, a good rule to kind of stick with is you should be able to pinch, I would say ideally, you should only be able to pinch about one inch of fabric on either side of your thigh. So maybe half an inch to an inch of fabric on either side of your thigh. You really want it to fit pretty, not one we'll, won't we'll call it tight, but you want it to fit pretty close to your legs because it will look, again, proportional to your body. Now, as far as tailoring goes, because I know you're going to ask me about tailoring. Can you know get this. swim trunks tailored? You can get the length tailored. Okay. You can get them shortened. Now, but on the width? In terms of slimming the leg yeah. of the, uh, the swim trunks, no. I do not recommend that at all. It's going to be costly or also just not even possible. possible because sometimes with swim trunks, obviously you have pockets on the side, all yeah, of that. Yeah. So I just think that it's a waste of money and there are so many options out there where you can find a swim trunk that fits the way it should in the leg. And even if it's a little long, that's a super easy, inexpensive fix at the tailor shop. So you can fix length, but you can't fix width. Yes. Ash, is that it? Yeah, happy That's swimming. It? Yeah, happy swimming. <laughs> happy swimming. <laughs> Hope you guys have a great summertime. Guys, if you have any questions, that is how these get answered because you leave them in the comment section below. So thumbs if you like this video, subs if you loved it. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.